Hello everyone, it's Professor Opegian here. I wanted to do a recap on the information I shared on contributor safety in the online classroom. So here we go. I have found that when students uh, contribute and share in the online setting, that there's a greater sense of competence, of confidence, and um, actually it's very empowering for students. I have seen that, witnessed that myself, many times in the online setting. I've also found that when they do share, that new thoughts and new thought processes are developed. And this all comes from the sense of being vulnerable and having a sense of humility in being willing to share and opening up their own thoughts and feelings to others in the online setting. I will say that it's been an interesting go in this last year and a half and I have noticed um, and witnessed a number of new things in terms of sharing. I have found that when students are um, willing and, and uh, honest about their feelings and wanted to share, that it came out in sort of a full expression. It seems like we've all gone through a very difficult time in the last year and a half. And it's not any different for our students or actually faculty as well. We, we've all experienced a number of, of hard and difficult things. And so I have found that in the online setting with students that their feelings and thoughts are like right here. They're, they're, they're so close to the surface like never before. And that if I provide an opportunity and the right kind of nurturing and, and supportive environment online, that they're more apt to share and share in big ways. So one thing I do to help encourage this is to actually share one of my own challenges with the class. And I have found when I do that, it opens up the gates, <laughs> the floodgates open and all kinds of fabulous things begin happening in the classroom. For example, when I do share something, especially like this last year, I'll share a particular challenge that I am dealing with in my own personal or professional life. Obviously, it's not something deeply personal because I'm, I don't do that. I don't think that's professional to do in this environment. But I will share something about perhaps something that I lost this last year. I mean, we've all experienced something in terms of a loss, and a loss in this last year. So I'll go ahead and share something online with the students and I'll share with them my thoughts and feelings about what it is, but I don't just leave it there because I want them to see my process for handling it and getting through it. So I'll share with them what I'm doing and how I'm handling this. And so many times it does involve having a strong support network a network of loving, encouraging, and supportive friends, family, mentors, even peers. It could be a therapist, it could be a counselor, it could be a pastor, it could be anyone. Just, just having a strong support system for you is, is huge, and that could actually make it for you. And so I discussed some options like this with the class, so they feel like they have somewhere to go and can take some action steps towards handling this. And I, I found that certainly helps tremendously. I've also found that when they start doing this in, the, in my online classrooms, I start sharing, they start opening up slowly, kind of testing the waters <laughs> to see if it's going to be, if they're going to be accepted or understood and heard. And once they see that happening, it starts to blossom and others begin to share. And then what I also see happening is they begin to share with each other. It's an amazing synergy going on in the classroom. And it kind of explodes and it's fabulous. <laughs> anyway, so I've been witnessing this and it's been very positive and it's been very upbeat in a, in a really difficult time. And I think they're all needing that. We're all needing that. <laughs> anyway, so one thing I have seen come out of this, it's a strong benefit of encouraging our students in this way, 
is that they seem less anxious. They seem less stressed and they seem more encouraged and supported. And honestly, they really walk away with a stronger sense of well-being uh, of about who they are. And that's what it's all about. And that's what we're here for. Okay. So I hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you next time. Bye.